Hey guys, Mason here with True Metal Supply, back with another informational video about installing metal roofing. Today we're talking about a very controversial question. Should you install your metal roofing screw in the flat of the panel or on the rib? There's a lot of debate about this, and the truth is, you can do whatever you want. But there are some recommended uh, procedures here, and I'll tell you what we recommend here at True Metal Supply. One of the reasons that a lot of people still think about going into the rib of the panel is logically, it seems like that there would be less water coming into contact with the fastener that is screwed on top of the rib, and the water is going to shed off of the top of the rib. Uh, so it, logically, it seems that way. Also, back in the old metal roofing days, before we had the amazing fastener technology that we have now, people were using lead nails to install metal roofs. And obviously a lead nail would need to go in the rib because if you put a nail through a metal panel, it's gonna leak. Uh, and this is back when metal was really only used for barns and ag use only, where it was okay if a little water was getting in the building. Now when we're talking about your home, we wanna make sure this is extremely watertight. And so today we're gonna to talk about why we recommend putting the screw in the flat instead of the rib of a metal roofing panel. Today we're gonna to be using our number 10 Wood Ultimate metal roofing fastener. This fastener is designed to go uh, through the metal and into a wood deck. This is a amazing fastener for metal roofing technology. It has what's called a multi-seal washer, which fully recesses inside of a one-piece enveloping cast zinc head that has a lifetime warranty against red rust. And the beautiful thing about this washer is it seals on both sides. So there is an EPDM up top, a metal ring in the middle, and EPM, EPDM down below. And this, this screw is very forgiving. So even if you come in on the roof deck at a little bit of an angle, that multi-seal washer will flex and still seal against the screw head and seal against the metal roof uh, that you're installing, allowing for an excellent seal. So you don't have to be perfect uh, perfectly straight down every time and allows you to, to, to come in at a little bit of an angle if you happen to mess one up. So that's the fastener we're working with. Uh, this is the fastener that we sell with our exposed fasten metal roofing systems. And now I'm going to uh, demonstrate installing a metal roofing screw through the rib of a metal roofing panel. All right, so we've installed the fastener on top of the rib and there's a couple of things that we're gonna notice. Number one, the amount of thread that is exposed underneath the rib. This is one of the major reasons that we do not recommend installing your screws through the rib is because there is so much of that thread exposed inside of the rib. This is our tough rib panel. It has a three quarter inch rib which means three quarters of an inch of the thread of that screw is not biting into the roof deck. What does that mean? That's not technically exposed to moisture, so what's the big deal? Well, here's the big deal. As metal heats up and cools down, it undergoes what's called thermal expansion. It expands and contracts as it heats up and it cools down. When that much of the thread is exposed and you don't have as good of a bite on the deck of the roof, as this rib flexes under thermal expansion, it is going to work out that screw significantly faster. And what you're gonna have is your screws backing out of the roof way earlier than they should be. Uh, when a screw is installed properly, when this multi-seal uh, fastener is installed properly on an approved roof deck, you should not have problems with that for 20 years plus. When you install it this way and risk thermal expansion backing that screw out, you could have problems significantly earlier. Another issue that we face, you'll notice when we fasten this down, you risk over tightening the screw and dimpling the rib. Now there's a couple of issues that can come out of these. One of them is aesthetic. When we flatten this rib out, we, that material's flaring out and it exaggerates oil canning effects, which means your roof's gonna not look as good as you were hoping it was going to. It also, when you dimple the rib, creates a potential for ice damming issues. So if you're in an area where snow's sitting on your roof for a while, where that rib is dimpled, where we over tightened the screw on the rib, uh, there's a good potential for moisture trying to sneak in around where that rib is dimpled down a little bit. And so you're actually opening yourself up to moisture getting into the roofing system as opposed to keeping more of it out. So now we're going to demonstrate installing this screw in the flat 
right next to the rib, which is where we recommend installing it. So now you can see we have a good tight seal against the roof deck. None of the threads of that screw are exposed um, underneath the metal roofing panel. They're all biting into the deck. The head is pressed firmly against the uh, panel and that washer is sealed really tightly against the head of the screw and against the metal panel and now it, it can do its job. So when metal or when water is coming down the roof and it does interact with that screw, that multi-seal washer is doing its job of diverting the water and, and making sure that your roof is leak free. And now as your roof undergoes thermal expansion, the fastener is not going to back out anywhere nearly as fast as it would be if you had ins installed it on the rib of the panel. So hopefully this demonstration shows why we highly recommend putting the fastener in the flat next to the rib and not through the rib itself. If you guys are interested in purchasing the Wood Ultimate Fastener for your metal roof, we sell them by the bag on our online store, truemetalsupply.com shop.